Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Jim at Better Photo, and I have some exciting news. I am launching a course that is designed to help you make outstanding photos, truly photos that stand out from the crowd. And in addition to teaching techniques on how to make photos especially outstanding, I'm going to share techniques of marketing and promotion so that you can actually get eyeballs to these photos. And I was leaning towards a couple titles for this course, and so I decided to ask the great Better Photo community for help. And I made a form, and I also included an other field. And I want to give a big shout out to John, one of our members, because he suggested something simple like make it pop instead of the more complicated titles that I had, something like Outdoor Photography System or Outdoor Photography Formula, which I liked, but I got kind of an engineering mind. And so the Make It Pop kind of it jumped out at me. So I added it to the options late in the game after many people had already voted. And I, I, I am astounded at how many people are voting for this Make It Pop. So we're seeing a, a turnover. And, a make it pop kind of photo is just like what we're seeing here in the background from Eric Cameron, one of our great members. This is a contest photo, uh, one grand prize several months ago, and it just really jumps out. And, and this is an example. Now, these are the results from the survey. We have uh, that make it pop getting in the lead at the top. And then down at the bottom, we see some of the things that people are really saying, hey, I could really use some help with this. And it's information overload. We got too much stuff coming at us, so it's hard to make sense of all the different tips and tutorials and information. What do we listen to? What is the truth? And the second runner up is, I really need help figuring out how to make my photos get seen, to how to promote and market my photos. So let's first talk just in this quick video. I just wanted to share with you one little thing and this is an example from my early days of a photo that I really loved at the time. And, you know, we're always learning and growing. I'm continually learning as well. And this photo, when I look at it now, doesn't pop. I like the composition, but it just doesn't, the colors don't really jump off the page. And I don't know how much I could do um, in post-processing to make this really pop because of the techniques and the tools that I was using way back then. But here's another photo that I captured more recently. And already, I like it better. The composition is different. Um, it's starting to show some kind of pop. But let's go right into this editor here and just use its AI for giving us some sense of what could happen. And I'm just going to click a couple different things here and look at that difference. And if we just click on the photo and hold it, we can see what it was and what it is. That is a simple example of making a photo pop. Now I might add some vignette. Um, I could add some extra saturation. Uh, a little bit of vignette would go like this. And what I do is I go until I see it and then I back off a little bit. And it's, you want it to be so subtle. You don't want it to be too dark like that, usually. Um, it, it gets to be just too profound. And if the viewer knows what you're doing, it kind of ruins it. So you see it till, you, you go until you see it and then back off a little bit. Same thing with the saturation. I can go until where I see it and that saturation is coming in and then back off a little bit. And I could do that with the warmth as well. And the brightness or exposure is often another one, but I kind of like the way it was. And there we go, the beginning, the original, and now it's popping off the page a bit more. So that's just a simple example of what we're talking about. And we're gonna go in depth on many fun techniques. It doesn't matter what kind of camera you use. We're gonna talk about how to create so outstanding photos with an iPhone or an Android. Uh, that's what I use all the time now. I use my smartphone, my iPhone, almost all the time. And it works great for me because most of my output is on screen. It's, it's online and uh, that works for me. I do use a, a mirrorless camera often as well. But there we have it. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to find out more 
about how to make your photos pop. And pretty soon I will do a free workshop that helps people understand how to get the most impact out of your photo, both in capture and in post-processing. And then I'll also share tips and techniques on how to really get your photo out there and how to make it stand out from the crowd because there are definite techniques for making sure that many more people see your beautiful work. This is Jim at Better Photo. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for future tips. I look forward to seeing you in the near future with this